Elon Musk is preparing to reinstate Donald Trump. Mr. Reagan. All right, so it looks like Elon Musk is preparing to reinstate Donald Trump. However, <laughs> Elon Musk has just affirmatively stated that he will not reinstate Alex Jones. <clears throat> so look, I know most people care a lot more about the reinstatement of Donald Trump than they do the reinstatement of Alex Jones. However, this to me is an ominous sign because if you're for free speech, you are for free speech, no matter how much you detest the person speaking. So what does this mean for Twitter? What does this mean for Elon Musk? I'll get into all of it in one moment. First, I have to sell you something. So is investing in silver today a good idea? Colin Plume from our friends at Noble Gold thinks so. On the national desk, he explained that there had been a huge sell-off of silver because of its low price right now. But silver is the most useful industrial metal out there, and demand is soaring for electronics in electric cars and solar panel circuits as the green agenda speeds up. And as industries pick up after the pandemic supply chain issues, the trend down should reverse quickly, and silver will rocket. Don't miss this. Give the team at Noble Gold a call and join thousands of others who have taken advantage of this blip in the market. They'll guide you through the process, and make it easy for you. And this month, you will get this stunning three ounce silver American virtue coin with a qualified IRA of $20,000 or higher. They, they actually sent me one of these and it is amazing. It's very, very heavy, but a very beautiful coin. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. It's the safest place to put your money right now. Call the team at 877-646-5347 and find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. All right, so recently... Elon Musk tweeted out, what should Twitter do next? A lot of people had a lot of suggestions. I think the number one thing was, you know, bring back Trump. They were saying bring back a lot of banned users. I wrote, one, reinstate the banned accounts, two, remove the shadow bans entirely, and three, expose Twitter's shadow ban methods and blacklists. And I got 437 likes. So thank you everyone who liked that tweet response. Another response that was very interesting was by someone by the name of Hardcore Nolly. And Hardcore Nolly writes, bring back Alex Jones. And um, I don't suppose that would be notable, except for the fact that Elon Musk actually responded to this, and he's written, no. <laughs> Just no. Now, Viva Frey picked this up, and he wrote back, Alex Jones is the litmus test. Not just the issue of freedom of speech, but on the issue of not bending the knee to political and judicial intimidation. If this is a hard no, your Twitter will never be any more trustworthy than Parag Agrawal's Twitter or Jack Dorsey's Twitter. And Elon Musk responded, too bad, too bad, was Elon Musk's response. Now, I, I think that this is a shame. I think that this is a shame. Here's the thing. A lot of people detest Alex Jones, and I feel like a lot of people maybe have good reason to detest Alex Jones. And um, to me, the concept of freedom of speech is that we must tolerate the speech of those we detest. In fact, we must tolerate speech that we detest. That's the whole concept behind freedom of speech. Now, there are many people who really don't like Alex Jones, and they don't think that he should be reinstated. One of them is my good friend, Sebastian Gorka, and he is not shy about um, saying who he likes and who he doesn't like, and he does not like Alex Jones. And so I wrote him, and I said, what do you think about this? I, I, in fact, what I wrote specifically was, you know, I'm not a big fan of Alex Jones. I don't watch his show. You know, I'm not like a big Alex Jones supporter, but I do support free speech. Sebastian Gorka wrote back, so do I, but not profiteering on the death of children. And like, fair enough. If that's what you believe that Alex Jones has done, I can understand you not wanting him to be on Twitter. And, you know, Sebastian Gorka is entirely convinced that Alex Jones is just a con man, right? That, that everything that he says on his show is done for profit and he doesn't care who he slanders or who he hurts. That's his game. And, and to be perfectly fair, Sebastian Gorka has, I think, an honorable mo motivation. He's written here, I think children are the most precious thing in life. And so he doesn't, I don't think that he feels like he should advocate for Alex Jones. For, in, in his view, this is Elon Musk's choice. And you know what? He's okay with it either way. <laughs> He's just texted me, if I owned Twitter, I'd use it to pillory him daily, <laughs> meaning Alex Jones. Fair enough. And, and that's okay, you know. It, it, 
<laughs> for the rest of his wretched life. <laughs> and like, fair enough, fair enough. But let him speak. That's just, my point is, free speech includes people that you detest. And the reason this is so important to me is not because I want Alex Jones to be on the platform. I really couldn't care less. But I, I feel like this is a matter of principle. A lot of people detest Donald Trump. They don't want to hear his voice expressing his ideas on Twitter. And yet we must have him on Twitter. A lot of people detest me. They don't want me to be on YouTube. But I must be able to express myself on YouTube. That's the whole concept of the free exchange of ideas, right? Of free speech. There's a whole concept. How can you draw an appropriate conclusion about things if you don't get all of the ideas out there? If you're not allowed to hear certain ideas. So even the most detestable people, I think, need to be given a voice, need to be allowed to express themselves. Now, Alex Jones himself has come out and said that, you know, he doesn't care if Elon Musk reinstates him. In fact, he doesn't believe Elon Musk should reinstate him, uh, basically because he thinks that so many entities have threatened to ban Twitter if Alex Jones is brought back on the platform, like the EU and create like crazy big powerful organizations like you cannot bring back on Alex Jones and Donald Trump so he's saying look you know Elon Musk is in a difficult position I understand it and I'm, I'm fine not being brought back onto Twitter I got all these other platforms here here's Alex Jones talking about it so Elon Musk has the EU threatening him not to bring back Alex Jones and Donald Trump he has DHS behind the scenes with a bunch of moles inside his organization. There's a question right now on whether Twitter will even be able to continue on to the future because all of the sabotage. I want to see Twitter freed overall first and to see if Musk can even get control of it before we talk about Donald Trump or Alex Jones being brought back. But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. We've got Rumble. We've got Gab. We've got Getter. We've got Telegram. We've got so many other great platforms that we're going to continue to energize those and promote those. That's the reason Joe Rogan went to Spotify. They told Joe, we won't censor you. And now they're number one in podcasting, showing that free speech is what people want. And that's what is innovating. And that's what is successful. I understand why Musk did this. He's got the ADL and the Democratic Party on him. He's got the EU on him trying to shut him down right now. And don't blame Musk at the end of the day because he didn't bring me back. I'm the most controversial figure in the world because I'm the most threatening to the New World Order. So don't expect him to bring me back day one when he has to first get control of the platform before he can even think about that. So that's my exclusive response to Elon Musk saying no to bring back Alex Jones. My answer is that's fine, Elon. Just follow through on your promise to bring back some semblance of freedom to Twitter. Let's see if you can actually get that done. But here's the thing. It's bigger than just Alex Jones, right? Alex Jones is not the point. It's not whether or not he wants to be back on the platform. It's a matter of principle. You cannot ban people's freedom of expression just because you don't like them or certain powerful people don't like that person, right? Everybody needs to be able to express themselves. That's the concept of free speech. I mean, who gets to dictate who can talk and who can't? We, we can't have a system like that. Everybody needs to be able to express themselves. So I don't even care, you know, if Alex Jones doesn't want to be back on Twitter or is okay not being back on Twitter. I'm not okay with Alex Jones being banned as a policy. You know, at the end of the day, speech, the free exchange of ideas is so critical to our, the whole system of government that we have, the modern world, that I would, I would fight for Alex Jones to be able to be given a platform on Twitter. But let's move into the whole, the, the, the title of this video, Elon Musk is going to reinstate Donald Trump. Now, why do I think that? Why do I think that? Well, Elon Musk has just posted a poll. Now, this poll was posted two hours ago, and he's written, reinstate former President Trump. Yes, no. And after two hours, he's gotten 3,560,139 votes, including my own. And so far, it's 57% yes, 43% no. Now, here's the thing. I don't believe that this is a genuine poll. I believe that Elon Musk is going to reinstate Donald Trump's Twitter account anyway, without the poll, right? I think that this was already a decision that was made. So why would Elon Musk post this poll? I believe Elon Musk doesn't want to take responsibility for bringing Trump back in the eyes of leftists. I think that this is a kind of a sort of a smart way, a smart way to, you know, do some damage control. Like, all right, I'm going to bring Trump back. A lot of leftists are going to say I'm some kind of a fascist, whatever. And maybe a lot of people will leave the platform and... I'm going to be castigated in the media and all this kind of stuff. So Elon Musk is like, okay, how do I, how do I bring Trump back and not have to take responsibility for it? I know I'll put up a poll 
And certainly all the passionate Trump supporters will come out in support of Donald Trump. And then I don't have to take responsibility. I can say, I allowed the people to decide. I am a benevolent dictator. I just, I let the people choose. And so that's what's happening here. And in fact, Elon Musk wrote as a response to his own poll, Vox Populi Vox Dei, which in Latin means, I think, something like the will of the people is the will of God or something like that, I think. And so I think what he's trying to say here is let the people choose. Let the people decide. This is like a direct democracy right here. And we'll allow Donald Trump to come back on the platform just so long as he's got enough yes votes. Well, I think he's anticipated that there's going to for sure be more yes than no. And I think he's already decided to bring Trump back. So I think this is a strong indication that, uh, yeah, Elon Musk has already decided to bring Trump back and it is going to happen perhaps tomorrow, perhaps any day now. So that's why I tried to make this video so soon. I just wanted to put it up, uh, put it up as soon as I could just, you know, before this actually happens. But I did think that it was a bit of a bittersweet moment because, yeah, Trump's coming back, but free speech isn't exactly free on the platform. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you thrilled about Donald Trump coming back onto Twitter? Do you think he's actually going to do it or do you think he's going to stick to Truth Social? And what do you think of the whole Alex Jones thing? Do you think that this is um do you think that this is a travesty as I do? I mean, I I am just it's such a strong principle that I have that I feel like I need to fight for Alex Jones even though I'm not an Alex Jones guy, right? I'm not an Alex Jones fan. I still feel like I need to fight for the guy. Until next time, just remember, it's not that our liberal friends are ignorant. It's just they know so much that is not so. Good night. What is fascism? Fascism is private ownership, private enterprise, but total government control and regulation. Well, isn't this the liberal philosophy? The conservative, so-called, is the one that says less government, get off my back get out of my pocket and let me have more control of my own destiny.